morning guys it's a beautiful morning here in Krakow I bumped into the jet lag warriors guys look at this man it's <laughs> <laughs> they are also here in Poland such a small world I think I think it was meant to be I think it was destiny <laughs> it's that destiny. we bumped into peril over here <laughs> well we just got to Poland last week okay um, we're gonna check out Auschwitz today. So guys, just catch us in the Auschwitz camp. Yeah. Learn a few things about the World, World War II. Yes. World War II. Nazi Germany. Yes. Built this, built this concentration camp. It's so crazy, it's brutal. Terrible, it's the death camp, right? The Kind of the world famous one. Yeah. Everyone kind of knows the word Auschwitz. We came here at, uh, what time is it now? Seven, right? So we're expecting to enter the, the camp at eight but it's all full so we managed to get at 4 o'clock that is the earliest we can get for the free passes if we wanted to enter they, they told us that they will have to charge us 60 zlotis we decided to do the other camp first the second one second. then we'll come back to the first one just catch us there guys shall we? okay guys we've arrived the concentration camp Birkenau this is camp 2 and Dennis said that this is one of the, the largest biggest, camps. Yes, biggest and largest camp. So this was the place where lots of millions of Jews died here, right? Yeah, almost one million of Jewish and oh. some Polish. And Polish I heard gypsies as well yes. and other nationalities. Yes, other nationalities yeah. So almost one million were killed in this concentration camp. It's quite sad looking at it as well with all those barbed wires. Very sad looking at it. This is a place where you have to be serious. It's a place to learn. And this is called the Gate of Death. What can you say about this place? Huh? With a name like the Gate of Death, oh. that's the first thing you see when you come here. So it's already just heavy stuff right off the top. Yeah. Um, I guess you'd have trains coming in here. They said this was like the sorting area. True. I guess you'd be unloaded from your train. Like so when you know. look at you, yeah, like, yeah, like in here, what was this again? This is the, Chamber. the, the chambers and then the, the jail. And then there's more chambers on the other side. So it's it's terrible what these guys did, huh? It's crazy. Uh, I mean, it's crazy that it's just such a kind of a beautiful day and uh, the grass is all green. You know, it seems like a relatively happy yeah. place until you get to know what's going on. Yeah, and you think, wow. True. It's very sad looking around. I mean, there's lots of tourists here. Everyone's here, but everyone's kind of talking quietly. Yes. And not just a serious kind of heavy place. Yeah. You can just feel this kind of true. sadness. You know, it's really yeah. terrible what happened here. How people could turn out to be very evil. You know? just to survive in this world in power. Crazy, I mean, they said it was uh, just under a million people were murdered here. One million. You know, 90% of which were Jews, Jewish, yeah. just because they had the wrong religion. All because of religion, they were eradicated. It's crazy, man. <sighs> it's so, it's so heavy. Were, first they were put to work, and then once the work, yeah. once they weren't fit for work anymore, and then they are disposed. They would be killed. It's just a tremendously, mm. It's an evil way of doing it. It's a kind of evil thing. As you look into these barbed wires, there used to be heavy vaults of electricity. And some people who couldn't take the, the pain, the misery out of this camp, they would commit suicide just by jumping onto these wires. It would end their miseries. It's super eerie, just all these True. chimneys lined up. I'm having goosebumps right now. Yeah, it's really close. <laughs> okay guys, behind me are the quarantine area. This is where the Jews were placed for total submission to the Nazis, to the soldiers, you know. So they were all placed here and they had their bunkers down there. Which I'll be showing you right now. This is how they used to sleep. This is how they lived. It's a very crumped up place. And I, I looked at it and it's like eight people can fit in a bed. So if there's no space for you, you have to find a way to try and fit in. So there's no comfort in sleeping down here. It's just a terrible place to live in. I'll show you more of these places. Follow me guys. Guys, right in front of me is the lake where the ashes of all the people that were sent to the gas chamber who were killed and then sent later on to the crematorium were burnt and incinerated later on dumped in this lake so this serves as a dumping ground of the ashes it's basically a graveyard of all the Jews that were murdered by the Nazis regiment I bought this book as well 
learn a few about the area. Cost me about 25 uh, uh, zlotis. You can get it as well. It gives you a few guides around the, the compound. You can't fake this kind of stuff, guys. Yeah, guys. I'm not joking, guys. This is goosebumps. It's certainly not cold. You can get goosebumps from the cold. It's yes. a beautiful day today. So this is what you will experience if you guys come down here. It's got goosebumps. True. Especially getting the information from the pamphlet, reading these signs. Yes. Okay guys, we just got into the Auschwitz 1 entrance. Before you guys can come in, you will have to go through security check. And after security check, you will make your way through. But before you enter, you will have to provide your ticket. This is the ticket we got. And remember guys, a few tips. If you come in 4 or 6, make sure everybody has their ticket because they will ask for your identification, like your passport or ID. So you present it at the counter and then they will give it to you. The tour, you will have to pay 60 zlotis with a tour guide. Or if you will come in for free, you can get like us, but there's a specific time where you are allowed to come in uh, with your group alone without yeah. a tour guide. And if you are bringing a big bag, you have to put in the locker. True. So it costs you four zloty. Yeah. So remember, bring a ticket, identification, and keep your, ba your bags all in the locker. And you have a good, uh, and no problems in the entrance. Yes. And then of course, uh, try not to bring any sharp objects. Okay. Okay hey guys, we are done with our uh, tour around the Auschwitz. It was very sad walking around learning all about the history of the Nazis. It was very, it was very heavy to absorb, right guys? Yeah, it's, it was crazy, yeah? I mean at the end of our tour here, we did like three different exhibitions in Auschwitz 1. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's really where you're going to see the most startling stuff. Yeah, I was really shocked when I saw the hair. And the hair yeah. and then the belongings, the comb, the shoes. It's so much. One of the most startling things for me was um, some of the photographs. So it's not up to your imagination, you know, these real life photographs, black and white, of like human bodies that are like so True. skinny from starvation and some pictures of children that are, you know, they have these needless experiments done on them. Yeah, it's oh, crazy, man. man. Even the pictures, I mean, I was looking at all the pictures of all the inmates. They had their, their pictures all looking confused, and the kids. Yes. Children. And, uh, oh, man. It's like you knew who was here, who was sentenced, you know? Yeah, it really put a face to the yeah. crime. Before, it's like these people got murdered, and you see the faces, you're like, oh, these people got murdered. It's much, uh, much more personal and much more sad. True. So I'm all in all, I'm glad we went to Auschwitz II first. I can recommend that as a good exactly. place because it's bigger, it's more about yeah. buildings than it is about like people and it doesn't have as much yeah. you know physical proof and you kind of get used to the idea and then you go into Auschwitz one and you go into those those three ex mm. exhibitions we went to it was like oh my goodness wow yeah Auschwitz two is actually I, we, we suggest you guys start with that first yeah. because it's so massive it takes up lots of hours because you're exploring the entire area and to get from point A to point B to point C it's just too far yeah. Because you'll be walking 10 to 15 minutes. So if, I suggest you guys start with the, first, the Birken, Birkenau camp, right? Yeah, Birkenau. Auschwitz, Auschwitz two. 2 or Birkenau. Yeah. It's, it's a good primer because Auschwitz 1 is smaller, but it's kind of really jam-packed with tremendous sadness. Mm. So, wow. A lot yes. today, man. It's been a lot. True. We can't we can't share all, all of this information to you. It's just too much. We can't even put this all into one vid because I'm also... Really shocked at all the information that was uh, displayed in the yeah. at the exhibition. At least we hope that the videos were giving you guys an insight. You know? Yeah, you get a few yes. uh, a few of uh, of what you will expect in the camp when you guys come and visit. Yeah, because it's a must come and visit, it's guys. It's a must. It's I don't want you to take yeah. our sadness yeah. for like don't come. Definitely yeah. come. It's effective. It's trying to tell True. you that these things are terrible and should not be happening anymore. Exactly. And it's very effective in doing that because it's like overwhelming. It really True. is overwhelming. And the weather here also is quite confusing. It's like one point, one point it was very cold, <laughs> yep. and then later it was very sunny, really hot, and, and now, now it's raining. <laughs> yeah, Look, please, just sir. up here, it's beautiful. A little bit of blue skies in the mm. rain. Oh, geez, that's like a poetic uh, statement, yeah. you know. Well, what a day. 
What a day. I had a good day. A day. Yeah, Amazing. I, I bumped into Farrell here. Yeah. <laughs> it was I a mean, good time. It was, it was a good day in a very sad yeah, way. It was a very sad way. You know? I hope you guys really learned a lot from this video, uh, especially with the jet lag warriors. Uh, we are really doing our best to share with you guys what we can, what we can, uh, what you get to experience from this place because yeah. it's really a, a place to come. Um, just give us a feedback of what you think this place is. Uh, maybe you can share some comments of uh, those who have visited the area. Let us know how you guys felt. Maybe you can share your your opinions of. Well, maybe we missed out something from here. Yeah, right, let guys? us know what was the most yeah. memorable, the most overwhelming sadness True. for you. Because different things kind of stick out to different people. Exactly. Let us know what your experience was. Well, guys, I think we have to end this up. As uh, it starts to rain. <laughs> yes, uh, so as, as it starts to rain, uh, we just don't want to forget uh, to remind you guys, just click on that subscribe button, guys. Eh? Please, please and thank you. Uh, Farrell Salvador, Jet Lag Warriors, okay? So, guys, till then, yep. catch you guys in some other European countries. <laughs> See ya. See ya. <laughs>